just before I walked in the room. Uh, I get a call from my mom, and she's like, hey, uh, so I'm still thinking of coming in in April. I know you got a lot of stuff going on. Um, I'm like, mom, I have a show. I got to do a thing. She's like, oh, what show? Shit hole. I'll explain it to her. And, uh, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Um, Larson, your dog died. Anyways, good luck, have fun. And just hung up the fucking phone. So, hey, gotta workshop that shit real quick. All right. uh, so, I was at a sex shop recently. <laughs> Crash right into that. Now I was at a sex shop. And I was gonna, I was gonna buy the girlfriend something nice. I was gonna buy her a vibrator. Um, she doesn't have one, which is weird. Uh, I have to be a feminist for her. Uh, no, and I was gonna get her. A, I was gonna get her a Hitachi. Now, if you don't know what a Hitachi is, a Hitachi is an incredibly powerful vibrator that uses a light aircraft engine to vibrate a featureless doll's head with the violence of a broken washing machine. All right. They were originally invented to buff graffiti out of cement walls. Back in the day, they ran on diesel. Now you plug them in, it just dims the street lights. I used the Hitachi on a woman once, her glass eye fell out. They're fucking <laughs> And she's looking at all the selections, and, uh, and she's like, I'm petite, this would kill me, so no. Uh, and she picks, not a $100 Hitachi, no, she picks a $300 remote-activated two-piece vibrating with a clit-sucking attachment. And it's, it's fantastic. The thing is so fucking powerful. I used it in the store. I have an Audi belly button now. They're fantastic. <laughs> They're incredible. People say that porn poisons men's expectations of women. That is probably true. But women poison themselves with the fucking toys they buy, all right? If your expectation of a man starts at a 36-inch mighty intruder, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Unless you know a kinky pony... <laughs> like, imagine the disappointment in any woman's life when they just realize... So it's not the size of a grapefruit and doesn't have a fist on the other end? Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I was like, well, if she's getting something nice, maybe I'll get something nice for myself. I go over to look at the men's sex toys, uh, and they're a far fucking cry from women's sex. <laughs> women's sex toys are like alien technology profaned by man. They're beautiful. They're like air fresheners. They're gorgeous. I look over at the men's section, and I'm like, this is just a Pringle scan full of ground beef. What the fuck? <laughs> like, if you don't like that, well, that's just baloney. What the fuck is this? They have one that's just a little, like, kinder egg. And you crack it open, and inside there's a little... There's like some gel. I could fuck a regular egg. What are we doing? They're like, sir, this is a deli. I'm like, all right. Damn it. That'll do it for me. Thank you very much.